Around the world, more than 30 million people are infected with HIV, including millions of children. Antiretroviral drugs have been very effective at holding the virus at bay. However, once drug therapy is stopped, the virus returns. This has led researchers to believe latent HIV cells may lay in wait somewhere in the body. It was hoped, given how effective these drugs were, that they might actually cure the disease. However, it's become clear over the years that despite how efficacious they are and how much they decrease mortality associated with the virus, um, it's not possible to stop the drugs. The virus comes back. Researchers were puzzled where these reservoirs of latent HIV cells may be stored. Here at the University of Michigan, we wondered about whether very long-lived cells, such as stem cells, might harbor the virus. And so we began looking at these cells in tissue culture experiments in the laboratory. We were surprised to find that certain kinds of cells that reside in the bone marrow that are not classically thought of as targets of this virus could be infected. This finding is important because it helps explain why it's hard to cure the disease. And it's very important to try to cure this disease because currently people have to take antiretroviral drugs for their entire life to control the infection. Now that we've detected the presence of virus in these latent reservoirs in the bone marrow, we and others in the field can focus on identifying the kinds of virus that target these cells, understanding why cells can support a latent infection, and trying to use creative strategies for targeting and eradicating these cells 